Hey guys, welcome. This is Fallon Kitchen. My name is Fallon. If you're here for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, share this video, and give it a thumbs up. If you're already a part of the family, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back, checking out your girl. Today, I want to take a minute and just big up all the fathers out there. Today is Father's Day, so I want to say Happy Father's Day to all the amazing fathers out there. Continue to love on your children. Big up yourself. Cheers to you. All right, guys. So we're here about to season up our chicken. So what I did, um, um, I go ahead and cut this chicken up. Um, this is a two pack of chicken. It's a two whole chicken, and I'm going to brown stew it now. So I wash my chicken, and I wash it with vinegar. All right. So see, it look good. Wash it with vinegar. So ready to season. So we're going to start with a powder season. All right. This is fermenter seed. You can get it. Yeah, fermenter seed. Just like a few fermenter seed. All right, so I'm going to do a little black pepper. Okay, you know black pepper is good for the man them, so you don't want to put too much. All right. Remember, two chicken we are seasoned, so just a lot of seasoning. We're doing some essence. Essence bring out the taste in your food. Very nice. All right, so I'm going to do some powdered garlic. Or you can use the, the garlic. Um, you can just cut up some garlic and put it in there so if you prefer to do that we're gonna do some seasonal remember this salt you see you want to be careful with this okay but I'm doing a two chicken so I need to put quite a lot so you can bring out this the taste into the food we're gonna do some season up from Maggie all right Looking good already, looking good. All right, all right. So now we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some chicken flavor bouillon, okay? All right, so this is very nice as well. So I'm gonna put a generous amount in your food. I remember that's a, that's a little salty, so you wanna be somewhat careful as well. All right, so I'm gonna like to do, I'm gonna like to stir this up a little bit. A little bit. I can go right in with my hand in there. No, we're Jamaican. I can go right in with the hand. I should say hand clean. All right. So for more wonder now, I'm gonna put my brown in. All right. Go ahead and put my. This is the brown that I use. Go ahead and put some chopped onions. So this is three um, bell pepper, the yellow, the red, the yellow, the orange, and the green bell pepper. All right. There's some chopped tomatoes. Make sure you get everything. All right, so this is some thyme. You can just break them like this. And this is some scotch bonnet pepper. All right. I want to just stir it up now. Make sure I say you get everything together. And then after I'm going to stir this now, see, so you want more browning, so I got to put more browning on it. Now remember, this is a lot of chicken, guys. So you want to make sure they have a nice, consistent color. And I want some chicken white and some brown. After I've done this, give it to the right color. I'm going to put it with the marinade for 30 minutes before I cook it. Okay. Need some more brown in. I just want to get to that right brown color. Remember, this is a two whole chicken, so you gotta keep going, adjusting your seasoning to how you like it. Remember, guys, to go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and you know it's gonna come out good. All right, just like that. Browning. 
land that one bit yet. Alright, looking good already. Remember, you can take off this. I take off my skin off my chicken. I don't put the chicken with my skin. I don't put my chicken with my skin. I don't put the chicken with the skin on it. I took my skin off. So, just like that. I'm going to make it marinate for like 30 minutes. I'll be back. Alright guys, so it's time to put in the, um, the chicken now. So, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Okay, so about that much. And then, you don't want to add a lot of oil. I remember chicken spring oil, or water, I'm sorry. Chicken spring water, so you don't want to add a lot of oil. All right. The chicken has been marinated for 30 minutes. So look like it look right now. All right, beautiful color. Cover this up. Look at that. Two chicken. That's a lot of chicken. And make sure you cover this up so you can start springing on water and then you're going to come, you know, period periodically and just stir it up. Alright? Set that cover on. We'll be back. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, the chicken is making its own gravy pretty much. So now I'm going to go ahead and heat a stir. It's a lot of chicken, boy. Ooh. Smelling so good. It's almost, it's almost finished though. You know, chicken cook pretty quick. So I'm just going to add some ketchup. So you can start making the right gravy, right? All right. Everybody cook this their own way. This is how I cook mine, brown stew chicken. So, cook yours how you cook yours. If you don't know how to cook it, well, this is the option. Remember to like this video, guys. It's the island requested video. So, shout out to all my Yankee and African friends that requested this video. If you have any questions, just comment below. And I'll let y'all know. You know answer your questions if you have any big up on yourself just a few more minutes and then i'm gonna show you all the end result all right guys so we are on the finishing look at this lord of mercy look at that beautiful brown stew chicken amazing it smells so good in my kitchen guys oh my goodness looking good smelling good look at that Get him a close up, please, and thank you very much. Look at that. Oh, beautiful brown stew chicken. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how I make my famous mac and cheese. All right, so we say famous because it's famous. A lot of people say they love it. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, cool. So let's go. So the mac and the, the um, the mac and cheese that I'm using today is the shell and cheese. I like the shell on um, mac and cheese a lot compared to the other brands. So I'm doing three of these already. Um, have, have it boiled and strained. So I'm gonna add that in a few minutes. But how I do my mixture, I do my evaporated milk, right? So I'm gonna add that. And I have to add the whole can. I'd like probably 80% of the can. Alright, so I'm gonna add two eggs. Gotta crack it up like that. Alright. So these are the cheese that came into the packet. Like that. So I'm not gonna waste it, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, more cheese the better right all right you don't want to 
want to use, you don't want to waste them trees, honey. You're going to make sure you use everything. You paint first, so you want to make sure that you use it all the way up. All right. So, again, I'm using three of these because I'm using three packs of the mac and cheese, all right? All right, so I want to mix that up. Keep it together. Don't forget the eggs now, honey, because eggs are very important. That's what helps keep it together. And then I'm going to add some regular whole milk, like probably one and a half cup whole milk. in this because the cheese is very salty so you don't have to put no salt in it. Look at that. Looking all good. Alright. You can do is sprinkle some shredded cheese. to the fridge to get some more shredded cheese. So I'm using this one right here. Put a little bit of that in the butter. And then I'm also using this brand as well. That has a variety of shredded cheese in there. All right. I'm gonna make sure it's so cheesy as you cut it. Cheese just coming all the way out. I wanna mix that up in there in the butter. So now I'm gonna add my macaroni. So my macaroni has been boiled. Take out this. Again, this is three packs of macaroni. It's been boiled and drained. Take a time and stir them in like this. Mm, smells so good up in here. All right. Look good. So while you're doing this, remember to put your oven in around 350. So you can go and preheat your oven. Mine is being preheated. Almost ready. So you know you can be ready to just put it in the oven when you finish. Look at that. Mm, tell me so that not look good. Mac and cheese, Father's Day did not turn up. Oops, I'm making a mess. Remember to clean up while they're cooking, not keep the place nice and clean. Look what that look, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Does not look beautiful. Find that creamy. Yes, my lovey. So while, um, Waiting for the oven to preheat. Go ahead and just I went ahead and put some butter in my pan. Make sure you can when it's finished, you can just easily come out. Easily well cut it and just come out. All right, and also prevent it from burning as well. So I'm go ahead and put that in my pan. Just like that. Okay. All 
right so after that mac and cheese just like that baby you can't have enough cheese keep adding cheese man keep adding must say i'm mac and cheese in here now you want to hear that? Me and father say, oh, that smell good? Say it again, daddy. Say it again. All right. You want to hear that? The main man. So guys, you just want to spread, you know, make sure you cover all the, um, the edges. I'm going to put cheese on, make sure you, you know, you're not covering it up. Make sure everything looks good. I used to one because it's a thick. Well, so my oven is almost ready, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the oven for about 25 minutes or so. So, I'm going to show you guys a look when it's finished. Make sure you get all the edges. Alright. Show you all the end result. Mm. Look at the mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells so good. Looking good. All right guys, so I have some steamed veg here. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little olive oil. That, a little butter. And I'm using my chicken season again. Just a little tiny bit. Like that much. Get a kick. Once I taste that, oh my goodness. Add a little bit of butter. Stir it and cover it up. Steam veg. All right, guys. So here I am. This is the end result. So again, I just want to thank you guys for checking out this video. This is my plate. And look how big it is. Yes, it's been a long day in the kitchen, and I deserve this. So I want to thank you guys again for checking out this video. Please go ahead and subscribe. You see, this is like the sixth video, and you saw. You know, you've been checking me out for a while now. Go ahead and subscribe. Come and join the family. All right. So again, show each somebody love today. Big up on yourself. Come back again and check me out.